Hey, what's up my mans? Now we are looking at some Switch emulation here and we had a lot of success with the new turnip drivers so if you check out what kind of drivers we have installed right now GPU driver we see we have the turnip driver Adreno 23.2 Mr. Purple I will upload this and you can find this driver under the description below and besides that basically in the advanced settings if you go on system or on graphics what you want is force maximum clocks right for the best performance here another thing you can do is to install game content um, basically this lets you update your game and I have updated all of my games here already and with these updates you don't just get new content but you also get better performance so this is something you definitely want to do so let's start over going to Yuzu and let's start with Mario Kart 8 and see how this works now so in the past this game was very performing very badly very slow frame rates let's check this out now I'm using an Xbox One controller here through Bluetooth so you can set up whatever controller you want to use and it works nicely so far. And as you can see I have uh, the new link here. I think that came with the update. Uh, let's just keep this and let's try something else. Let's do this one maybe. So I'm just gonna check out each game for a little bit. I don't want this video to be too long, but as you can see, the performance is very good so far. Very stable frame rate. And I'm running this in the handheld mode for anyone interested. There we go. Okay. Doing pretty good so far. I'm so unlucky, aren't I? Sorry guys. Uh, let's try this. I'm not really much of a Mario Kart player, but it works well. And we've got no visual glitches, and that's very nice. Maybe we want to turn this down just a little bit. There we go. Just turning this down a level. But it's nice to hear that we also got no audio issues, no glitches with the audio. So I would say this game runs pretty well, but let's just finish this course. And remember, this is not so much about my skills as a player as it is about the performance of this emulator here right now. And we have come a long way since the early days uh, for any of the maybe more mature viewers here who have perhaps tried PSP emulation before. I mean emulation on the PSP. Um, that's where it all started for many of us. Back in the day, emulating uh, Nintendo 64 was pretty much the thing we would do on our PSPs and our PlayStation 1 emulation on the PSP. So we have really come a long way from that, that we can now actually emulate current systems. I think the 
Switch, many people still use, still have games released for it and it works very nicely so far. And look at that, I'm almost at the third place here. Take that. Gee, why am I... How am I... How is Baby Peach faster than me? Like seriously. Come on, Link. You're the Prince of Hyrule. No. Why do I get this? This is like not an offensive weapon at all. And yeah. As you can see it works well enough, but my skills are lacking. And we got in fourth place. Very nice, so this works very well. As you can see this is just being emulated here. Let's just check out the next map real quick. What what's up? The next course we're gonna see. Ooh, Dolphin Shoals. Yeah, that looks cool. Let's just check this real quick and then go to the next game. And so I would definitely say that uh, with the newest drivers and the updates applied, this game is fully playable. Um, I'm using an S23 Ultra here, so on any Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 device this game should work flawlessly, given you set it up the same way I did. Yeah, so this works well. Okay, let's check out what else we got. You know, Yuzu does sometimes crash when you're switching games. And another game that was not working before the new drivers is Mar Super Mario Odyssey, so we're gonna check that. Okay, there we go. Let's see how that works. So this is also something from the update, so I just updated the game and got new new features. That's great. Great. Okay, yeah. Like all of this because I just updated the game. Which you can do with the Yuzu emulator. Okay, okay. There's a lot, apparently. Okay, Jesus. Can I skip all of this? Oh my god. Okay, anyways, let's resume. This also has a two-player mode, apparently, co-op. I haven't tried that yet, though. So, we are here on the desert planet, I guess. And let's see if we can actually switch planets. Because I already collected all the moons necessary, I think. Oh yes, there we go. We need one more, oh my god. Well then tell me bro. Yes, I would like to buy him, please. Ooh, okay. You got it. Now this is quite demanding, we have a few frame drops here and there but pretty playable. I mean, I did already collect a lot of moons, so... Nevertheless, pretty playable performance with the newest drivers. And uh, this is still a very early emulator, so as they go along updating this, we can only expect better performance. But I am getting a lot of friend drips here, actually. But that might also be my phone just reaching the term, uh, thermal limits. You will have much better performance if you are willing to use a fan under your phone. Oh my god, let me... Let me uh. Damn, do I still get it? Oh, it's there now, okay. Let's see if I can go get that real quick. 
Ooh, the frame rate is really tanking now, but at times still playable. Let's see if we can get there. So I remember about 15 years ago we would do this on our Sony PSPs, well not with Switch of course, but with Nintendo 64 and now we got Switch. No, it respawned and I just wasted a life and some coins. But as you can see, no visual glitches at least, so in that regard, a very good performance, at least glitch free. Looking good. Let's try something else. And there we got a crash, but sometimes the app just does crash, so that's something to be expected. And another game that was not running well at all was Kirby. Um, Return to Dream Island, I think it is, Deluxe. This game also on the Nintendo Wii, but uh, on the Switch you don't have to mess around with the um, what you call emotion controls. And also visually this game looks much better here as you have uh, I think shaders and shadow effects that are missing from the Wii version. Um, performance wise pretty good so far. Let's try this. And after that of course we're gonna go with Zelda Breath of the Wild which works uh, surprisingly well with the new drivers, but let's just check out Kirby real quick. So there are some load times here, but as you can see at least in this part of the map we got no visual glitches and very good performance, so Kirby plays very well. And also very fun multiplayer game, co-op, I play this a lot with my girlfriend. Whoa. And there we go. I would say Kirby looks very great here um, and plays very well too. Very fluent frame rate. You know, it works just great. And it has some loading times, but eventually it will go in, back into the game. Let's get this cutscene real quick. And my camera is losing focus here. So if you're patient, uh, it does load and it works pretty well. Let's drop this ability, this is not one of my favorites. Let's try this one. Yeah, that works well. So, very good performance also from Kirby. And next we will try, uh, finally, Breath of the Wild, Zelda, and see how that works. Also after the updates applied, again, much smoother frame rate. So I'll be right back and set up the next game for you guys. Okay, so let's check out the final game for today. You're gonna check uh, Zelda Tears of Kingdom. So I have not played this before, but we can try this out and see how well this runs. I've been playing quite a lot of uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, and it works pretty well with the newest drivers, but I have not tried this one, so let's see how this works. And again, we have to wait a little in the beginning, the game shaders are loading, so it usually takes some time for the whole thing to boot up. But no need to panic. It just loads once, and then here we go. Oh, it says actually continue, so I did try this at least. I'm still in the beneath the Hyrule Castle. Get some sound here. Nice. And we've got more loading screens, and here we go. We are in in game. And yeah. Look at that. Now these graphics are just gorgeous and seeing this emulated on a phone is just amazing. 
that really is amazing how well this works we've got no visual glitches come on Zelda Interesting story. Uh, let's check it out. And we can also shoot. Whoa. There isn't so much to say here, um, but the frame rate uh, frame rate does seem pretty stable. And no graphical glitches, as far as I can tell. Are we okay? Please, just... Okay. Can we skip this? Ooh, okay. Yes. They look very interesting, don't they? So maybe um, I should play this first and get to a more interesting area. But as you can see, this area right here seems to work pretty well. We've got a no graphic... Oh, an enemy! Oh my god, something's happening. Unbelievable. And I took care of those. Yeah, we have a few frame drops here and there, but again, very early development, and the cutscene also plays very nicely. Very nice graphics emulated on Android. Impressive, really. So, again, you will need to firstly um, download these graphical drivers, turn up drivers they're called, and you can just install them in user. It's very user friendly, not complicated at all. And then you will want to update your game because once you update your game, they usually run much, much better. So, all the games that I got on here, I updated all of them, and it really improved the gameplay performance for me. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you have some fun with these games on your mobile phones, it's amazing how far we have come. You know, I don't post a lot, but if you're interested in this kind of content, uh, I've got some more for you. And enjoy your Nintendo games on your mobile phone. Together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. 